Archimedes' principle states that an object which is fully or partially immersed in a fluid will experience a buoyant force which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. Now, how does the hot air balloon apply Archimedes' principle? Hence, that's what we're going to discuss today, which is the application of Archimedes' principle in a hot air balloon. But before that, a very good day a bit to all who's watching. Have you ever experienced riding a hot air balloon before? Have you ever wondered how does it lift it, how does it stay afloat, and how does it descend? Do you know how does a hot air balloon actually work? I believe not many of us know about it, right? Hence, let's get right into it. Well, there's nothing special inside the balloon that makes it float up in the sky. It is just the same air that we're breathing right now. As you may know, air is made up of matter. Anything that we can touch or even feel or even something that takes up spaces is matter. Even the water is made of matter. Even the clothes that we wear is made of matter. Even the foods that we eat and even we ourselves is made of matter. So what kind of stuff is matter made of? It is made of tiny things called molecules. These are little particles that are way too small to see, but they aren't there. The things needed to build hot air balloons are 1. Envelope 2. Burner and 3. Basket During the ascending of the hot air balloon, the parachute valve is closed by releasing the parachute valve cord. The burner, which is a hot air that fills the envelope, comes from gas jets filled by the propane tanks is ignited. The air inside the hot air balloon is heated up, hence the weight of balloon is less than the buoyant force. During the descending of the hot air balloons, the parachute valve is opened by pulling down the parachute valve cord. The hot air inside the hot air balloon is released, the burner is turned off, hence the weight of balloon is greater than the buoyant force. Now how do we relate this with the Archimedes principle? When the air in the hot air balloon is heated, the density of hot air is less than density of cool air. It displaces a large volume of air in the balloon. The buoyant force is equal to weight of surrounding air displaced. The hot air balloon rises upward when the buoyant force is greater than the weight of hot air which is in the balloon, weight of airship fabric, weight of gondola, and the weight of passengers. The balloon descends when the buoyant force is lower than the weight of the hot air in the balloon include the weight of airship fabric, the weight of gondola, and the weight of the passengers. The balloon remains stationary when up thrust is same with the weight of hot air in the balloon which include the weight of airship fabric, the weight of gondola, and the weight of the passengers. Hence, it is important for us to understand Archimedes' principle better in order for us to get a better knowledge in what we are writing, which is a hot air balloon. Not just that, it is also important for us in order to prevent any accident to happen. I suggest you to not have that delusional thought of being Yoon Seria from Crash Landing on UK drama, which she crash landed to North Korea to meet her true love, Free Jong Hyo. Stop being so delusional. You might be like that, or even. <laughs> yes, you might get shot right at the moment. So get your safety prioritized first, and be delusional later or never. Hence, that's all from me. Thank you. Bye.